Welcome everyone, thank you so much for joining in. So since the price of Bitcoin right now is flashing a very, very interesting scenario, I don't want to waste any of your time. So let's jump into the content right away because if you look at the price action of Bitcoin in a weekly time frame, along with this Bitcoin logarithmic growth curve, guys, you can see this one scenario that unfolded here in 2017, 2019, also in 2021, could be unfolding right now and also I believe that this time it's going to be different because if you look at the price action using this Bitcoin logarithmic growth curve, I want you guys to focus around this yellow line. This yellow line is the middle of the channel or also Bitcoin low growth curve 50%. So if you look at this middle of the channel, you can see guys, this middle of the channel has always been a strong line of resistance in an uptrend for Bitcoin. Also here from 2019, as you can see, when we came across this middle of the channel, exactly after that, we got this retracement. Similarly, here right in 2017 when we were starting this new rally but if you look at this one here when we got a rejection from this middle of the channel when the trend was heading here to the upside also following this rising trend line you can see this retracement ended around this green line which is the 38.20 fibonacci line and after that we got a support right got a rejection around that line but the second time we broke out of it and price went towards the top of the channel and if you look at this one here you can see we were following this rising trend line but once the price got a bigger retracement and also broke out of this rising trend line support only then we started this actual downtrend but this time right this time it looks absolutely different why because if you simply look at this price movement you can see we were clearly hitting it to the upside. We got a rejection around this middle of the channel, got a retracement price found support at this 38.20 Fibonacci line, just like here, and started this new rally. But this new rally did not last it long and price saw another retracement. And now, guys, now if you focus around this price range, you can see price of Bitcoin tried to break out of this line, got a rejection. Also, the retracement ended exactly at this 38.20 Fibonacci line and now this second attempt look pretty similar to just like this one here or even here from 2017 retracement around this 38.20 Fibonacci line and this new rally so now if this similar scenario is going to unfollow by second attempt there is a high possibility of price getting rejection around this middle of the channel right and as soon as we flip this resistance into support the price of Bitcoin could be heading towards this new Fibonacci line that is lying around 67,135 price area. And if we do see this movement, then you can see we are also making a new all-time high for Bitcoin. So in a weekly, according to this Bitcoin logarithmic growth curve, the price of Bitcoin must flip this middle of the channel, this line here, as a support. If we can flip this resistance into support, then we could be starting this new rally towards the new all-time high and that is around 67,135 area so this here is one thing i want you to understand in a weekly time frame but in a daily time frame we actually did talk about this falling wedge scenario because we were aware falling wedge doesn't matter if this was a reversal or a continuation pattern even with this example i was very very clear in our case this here this falling wedge was formed when the trend was heading here to the downside we broke out of this falling wedge we started this new rally right and this was a reversal pattern but in our case we were forming this in an uptrend this falling wedge that's why we said this is more of a continuation pattern and in a continuation pattern just like as shown in example you can see after breaking out of this it usually get a resistance after reaching the target area but in our case we broke out of it you can see here we broke out of this resistance line right reached our price target and now if this is going to be a pullback then maybe we could be retesting the previous temporary resistance line you can see around this 52000 price range right if we do see another pullback around that range and price finding support then we could be retesting this resistance line previous temporary resistance line and then starting again this movement here to the upper duration because doesn't matter however you look at this price action right now the trend of bitcoin looks very very strong because i showed you right not just only with the falling wedge but also this bump and run reversal pattern because after this pullback or this throwback to the trend line according to this bump and run reversal you can see price after getting thrown here towards the resistance line once the support is formed 
then the price of Bitcoin could be starting this new uphill run. And we were saying this again and again. And since the price of Bitcoin has already broken the previous temporary resistance line, now, if we do see any sort of a retracement around this previous resistance line, and if we flip this into support, then this trend here could continue here to the upward duration, just like as shown here in the example, starting this new uphill run for bitcoin and now if we look at this price structure a bit differently using the fibonacci extension line to find out the support and resistance line then you can also see this example here guys so guys now again if you look at this price action and simply add this fibonacci extension line from this swing low till this swing high we can see very clearly this fibonacci line makes a lot of sense why because you can see the point we had to acted at the resistance but now since we are hitting here to the upside this fibonacci extension line is also going to act as a support and also showing us the price target for bitcoin so this means if the train of bitcoin is going to continue here to the upside for us right now for the medium short term 58,000 is going to be our next fibonacci extension target line and also guys if we do see support breaking from this 54,168 because that is the 0.618 Fibonacci extension line if this support is going to get broken and we are going to see some sort of a pullback then we are aware the 0.5 according to this Fibonacci line is going to be another strong line of support and then we could still continue this rally to the upside that's why if we do see any sort of a price retracement we are aware According to this bump and run as you can see there are going to be some more shakeout on our way but price is still going to continue this rally here to the upper duration also this falling wedge scenario the continuation pattern what we are witnessing this is more likely to continue here to the upper duration and also also once we flip this resistance of weekly the middle line right the 54,500 54,600 into support in a weekly time frame then we are ready for this next move that could bring the price of bitcoin towards the new all-time mine and this price target the next fibonacci line 61.80 is lying around 67,135 price area so these are some of the scenarios i thought sharing with you in today's episode if you enjoyed my work then come on guys hit that like button and for those individuals watching this for the first time hit that subscribe button and the bell by saying this i'm signing out my name is anup bye bye guys